I'm Bradley Blunt. This last month, I went to Guatemala to drill a water well. My name is uh, Chris Fishnick, and we went to Nuevo Concepcion in Guatemala. The point of the trip is to drill a water well, but that's not really the point of the trip. Really, the point of the trip is to interact with the community, uh, play with the kids, and we drill a well on the side. So we're providing living water through interacting with the community, but we're also providing a sanitary drinking water source for the community. The typical day was we just started real early and uh, drove out to our place where we had to work. And the leaders went out there and found a spot that they thought that would, you know, produce water. And we went out there and just started drilling pipe in the ground. We went about 200, 220 feet deep looking for good water and uh, ended up putting our well at about 120 feet deep. The most fun thing easily was the water fight. Once we got the well, we were developing the well waters coming out of it. We had a bunch of buckets and all the little kids have a little bucket or something you put water in and we just started throwing water at everybody. That was awesome because even the locals who you know were kind of standoffish on the corner and big tough guys even joined in and had, had fun whenever you threw water on them and they went and got buckets and threw water on everybody and that was a lot of fun. It was just fun to interact even though nobody spoke the same language, but we all just still connected and got along. That was really cool. Any time that you can get out of your regular daily routine and focus on God for a week, something is gonna happen. I hear a lot of people say it's just not a good time, but in life, it's seldom a good time. You have to kind of make a priority. You just have to go. I mean, there's really, nothing else you can say but go. I mean, every, I mean, everything has a sacrifice. You know, going on a trip like this, you get to a week to focus on nothing but what, what God wants. That does something in your life. I mean, there's not a reason to be hesitant. It might be something you're not familiar with or something you're uncomfortable with, but at the end of the day, you're, you're doing God's work, so He's gonna support you and He's gonna take care of you through that. You just have to go then realize how actually great life is and how wonderful everybody is and how we can just get along and communicate with just one simple thing that we have in common.